Hey guys, welcome to another custom RC video. Uh, today I want to show you the upgrade I did on my Emax. I uh, put in these Kershaw Design 700 700 HO motors, and uh, they're huge. These things. Here's the original. Well, these aren't the original motors. These are. These are HPI motors that I tried out, but uh, quite a quite a difference in size there. There's the original motors right there, and yeah, the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but uh, these motors are quite a bit bigger. And with that, I had some heat issues. I tried it out for a couple minutes the other day and uh, the speed control got so hot within a couple of minutes I, I, I couldn't even uh, I couldn't even put my finger on it so I came up with this fan design here and it was tough on this one because you gotta you gotta turn it on a little button right there so you don't want the fan too high or or too low so you can't get at it so uh, that's how I mounted it in I actually used um, body posts that fit perfectly into uh, into the holes like uh, like these holes here so uh, I just screwed a fan on the top and then uh, I put a fan on the back so I've got one blowing the air in and one sucking the air out. And I've just got it running on a 9 volt battery down in there and on a switch. So I hit that switch and off she goes. So uh, I'm going to keep the lid off for now and, and give it a run here and, and uh, just see how... Uh, see how good these motors work I'm hoping my drivetrain holds up to it I do have CV drive shafts in the back but that's it the front or original drive shafts and this is uh, either the first or second generation um, Emax chassis it's the black one and uh, it's got the two speed transmission and stuff but uh, enough yip yap let's get her going see where our heat's at. 62 degrees outside.
Okay, so I blew a drive shaft or something, which doesn't surprise me at all. I'll have to pull the lid off here and have a better look, but I'm pretty sure it's a drive shaft, which I knew when I put those motors in that uh, I'd probably have to upgrade the rest of them. Man, did she get dirty in there? Well, it's been pissed down rain for the last couple of days, so everything's super wet. All right, yeah, back one broke the back drive shaft. So I guess I'm gonna have to uh, dig out the rest of that uh, that uh, CV drive shafts and maybe do the rest of it up I really didn't get to didn't get her into high gear too much it's mostly running around in low gear low gear works pretty good for for this stuff here and I don't know these tires uh, they really uh, kind of impressed me too I didn't think I would get the traction that I did with them but uh, they hook up pretty good now it is a little squirrely um, with those bigger motors in there. I imagine it would probably be almost the same as the brushless, but uh, oh yes, also I want to check out the heat. And I beat her pretty good, so let's see what the heat is. Ninety-three point eight. That's great. Yeah. No. No. Thirteen. Check the temp at the same spot. Hundred and twelve. Yeah, they're pretty close. I'm surprised those motors are. Hotter than the uh, speed control. That speed control, it, it uh, I'm not kidding, within two, three minutes it was so hot you couldn't touch it before I put the fans on. So I now know my fans work. So that's good. Alright, well, I guess that's it for the, uh, for the Monster Max today. I'll have to upgrade those drive shafts and uh, try it again. Get, maybe uh, get some get some road runs with it in high gear. See how quick it goes. Because with those dual motors and how big those pinions are, it should go pretty quick. All right. I'll catch you all in the next video.